I am trying to automate myself out of a job. So back in my days as an IT infrastructure automation engineer, one of the key uh, lessons that I thought was, uh, if I automate myself out of a job, that means that one, I'm a good automator, but two, it also means that I just have less work to do and I can save my time for doing other stuff. So one of the, one of the key secrets to automation is you save yourself five, 10, 20 minutes every day uh, and then it adds up to one, two, three, four hours every day until eventually you have automated so many things that you are getting literally hundreds, if not thousands of hours worth of work done every single day and every single week, which means that you can either kick up your heels and just stick around on the internet <laughs> while, while you're at work, or you can automate even more stuff and learn. And that's basically what I did. And that's how I got to where I'm at. So I uh, got access to uh, OpenAI's new GPTs feature. And of course, the first thing that I did was build something that people have been asking for for literally like years now is a virtual David Shapiro to talk to. So link in the description. It is out there. You can go use it. It will. I will work on improving it over time. But right now it is equipped with all of my transcripts. So you can uh, you can ask it all kinds of questions. So in this case, uh, you know, I, I said, what are the requirements to achieve AGI? And it says uh, temporal window and axiomatic alignment, uh, Nash equilibrium framework and consciousness and learning abilities. I, again, it's not perfect. I need to figure out how to format all the data underneath. But like you can tell that it's clearly picking up on some of the things that I have talked about. So that's what I, where I wanted to open the video. Uh, I'll do a real quick plug for my Patreon. Um, so I'm starting to do monthly masterclass sessions for the premium tier Patreon subscribers. So this is going to be uh, a monthly kind of webinar session um, up to 100 people. It's going to be recorded. So even if you, if, even if you miss, uh, miss it, if you're on the premium tier, you'll get to see the recording. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're going to talk about uh, the state of the AI industry. I'll give you kind of a brief update from my perspective, what I'm seeing, the trends, the technologies, the techniques, that sort of thing. Then I, the second part of the masterclass session will be a lesson in systems thinking from my upcoming book. And then third, finally, um, we'll do a mastery teaching session, which is more or less a Q&A format, but it's a, it's a mastery dialogue uh, session to kind of talk about everything that we've covered. And that is, uh, the first one is today at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern. So if you're seeing this, you might have already missed the window, but go ahead and sign up. Uh, I will be raising the price of my premium Patreon tier. Uh, in early 2024 um, as the value of this content goes up. So with all that being said, let's move on over to the OpenAI agent swarm. So speaking of automating myself out of a job, uh, this is really exploding. We have had so much engagement. Um, and so what I wanted to do was uh, basically conduct this. And so what I wanted to do was basically conduct this like uh, kind of a scrum Huh, where I just kind of show everyone all the discussions that have been happening and tell you kind of what the next steps are. So uh, right at the very top, um, we have a couple folks jumping in and we're, we're experimenting with what are the, the function calls, the tools that you need to, to create another agent. And so what I did was I went and tried to create, uh, create an agent over here with the agents um, I called it Hephaestus Hammer of the the Haas project, and it didn't it didn't work really well. I really I really barfed it, uh, like because I asked like what is the per the purpose of the Supreme Oversight Board? So let's see if it works because it often doesn't. But anyways, my idea right now is because it's so easy to build these GPTs, maybe these GPTs at the front end should be the way that we orchestrate the rest of the the autonomous swarm. And so while this is running, I wanted to differentiate because when I say autonomous, some people say like, well, what do you mean? And some I, I, I've seen a few comments. I've had a few people reach out on LinkedIn. They say, oh, well, this is a fully autonomous framework. And it's like, if it waits for a human instructions, it is not autonomous. That is orchestration. Orchestration is where a human pushes a button and then a Rube Goldberg machine uh, comes to life and it goes and does the human's bidding. And then once it's done, it stops. The purpose of an autonomous swarm is that you set up the initial configuration with a mission, with mission parameters or, or higher order goals, and the swarm keeps going indefinitely. Um, and it doesn't, it, it, it might need some help or feedback at some points, but it is designed to not need human feedback. Um, so in this case, uh, the, the Hephaestus Hammer 
uh, said the Supreme Oversight Board within the, the hierarchical autonomous agent swarm. Okay, so in this case, it worked. <laughs> like I said, we're still figuring this out. So establishing and upholding ethical standards, high-level decision-making, ultimate authority checks and balances, guiding and steering the house. Okay, cool. So you are there. I'll have a link to this one as well. But again, be warned, this is still in beta. We're still figuring this out, and we're fudging through. But we, you have an agent called Hephaestus Hammer that can help teach you about the, the Haas framework. And I also gave it the, the, the documentation. So hypothetically, it can help you do the coding. Um, okay, so that's pretty cool. And let's, uh, whoops, let's come back to, where did it go? Okay, so then one of the other problems that we're discussing about is how do you organize all this? And so, as I mentioned, uh, a bunch of people have really jumped in and it's been super helpful and so here's, here's someone actually threw together a great diagram as to how this works. So in this case, the, the SOB, the Supreme Oversight Board, will be populated with a bunch of archetypes or personas or whatever. They are the, they're going to debate about what to do, how, when, and why. But again, they're given the overarching mission and the context of what the swarm is supposed to do. In this case, they chose Captain Kirk, King Solomon, and Socrates. Now that would be an interesting conversation. Um, and so the SOB is, they create the executive board, and then the executive board um, focuses on all the other actual tasks. So one thing that I did want to point out is that there have been, like, I'm really glad that uh, a bunch of people have jumped in. Um, and <laughs> I've had, to, I've had to, to, to steer the ship pretty hard because uh, despite, despite the enthusiasm, uh, some people just didn't quite get it, and they wanted to change the scope of the project. They're like, let's do local agents. We're not doing local agents right now because that's going to take way too long, and it is time to move fast and break stuff. Also, someone tried to like add the idea of, like, let's do a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization. Again, that's a bottom-up management. This is a top-down management. So uh, just wanted to say, like, this design is on purpose, um, and, it, and that is because... In order to orchestrate a swarm, you need to have top-down command and control, whereas you don't want the, the agents at the very bottom to all be voting. One, that's a waste of tokens. And two, DAOs are good for organizing social movements where, where like equality for all is critical. This is not about equality. This is about getting stuff done as efficiently as possible. So the Haas framework is a top-down command and control structure. So I really appreciate people doing this. Um, but yeah, this is a perfect diagram. So tier zero is the Supreme Oversight Board. Tier one is the Executive Board. Tier two and all the all the child agents below that. So basically, each agent is able to create worker agents um, as needed in order to delegate out. Now we'll probably have some some general rules where it's like, okay, once you get to tier five, you're basically expected to be a worker and like do something. So one idea that I had was that in or, instead of having one agent keeping track of multiple tasks, you have one task per agent. And so that might mean, you know, you might spin up an agent with the sole purpose of like, write this function or, or fix this bug or send an email to, you know, Mark Zuckerberg or whatever, right? Like, so one task per one agent, probably at tier four or five. This is where I'm thinking we're going. It's obviously not set in stone. So thanks for jumping in and contributing that. Um, I think that was it for this thread. Yes. So Okay, and it looks like someone has jumped in and, and created a tool creator and tool user demo. So I'll show you this, this conversation. So complete the working implementation of automated tool and assistant builder. So this is great. I'll, I'll add a comment like, <laughs> I'll check this out. Uh, recording now. Um, submit a PR, please, once it's done. So, yep. Uh, let's see. Moving right along. Use AI coder like a sweep. So this was a this was a great idea that that uh, uh, Alexander Inking um, came up with, which so basically this was like a meta process for probably instantiating swarms or evolving swarms over time, uh, which I really appreciate that idea. Uh, we're probably not going to focus on this just yet, but basically one swarm is going to have like one overarching mission, um, but the swarm you might need to deprovision the entire swarm and then start over. And so then it's like, what if you treat um, all of the different components of the swarm like a genetic algorithm so that that way you can just say, like, here's a bunch of variables. So then when you go to instantiate a swarm, you can measure, like, how well the swarm did and then tweak those variables later. So I really appreciate that idea. And here was another idea. This one is a little bit complicated, um, but it is a really good workflow of the, the actual formal logic, the workflow of how things uh, work. 
Um, we're still we're still workshopping uh, exactly how the agent com- are going to communicate. So uh, a member of the ACE framework and a few other people have some ideas about how that will work. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. We have someone who created a, another uh, GPT with a chat interface. So let's see. Explain agent swarms. This is good. But yeah, so um, now that you're kind of a little bit more familiar with where we're at today, I do want to invite people to submit more um, issues and pull requests, and I'll show you exactly what I what I want and what I mean in just a moment. There we go. Cool. So this this uh, agent swarm um, GPT seems to be working. Okay. So I have two issues out here. So this is where we're getting into like uh, let's let's have the rubber meet the road. So one idea that I had was I, w- I would like if someone would create a, a Discord version. Um, and so where where you could put that in the in the repo is just do like another folder like you know Discord connector or Discord version, just to get the ball rolling. That might be too complicated um, at at first because um, we've also been talking about like how do we get agents to talk directly to each other and that sort of thing. And the other bounty that I have out here is take a stab at building a toolmaker agent. So uh, a few people have already done that. So. Let's, uh, as a community, let's look at some of the proposals that we have. There's a few out there. Um, and um, I'll, I'll actually create some better organization in the discussion. So by the time you see it, I'll have a, a few better few better things here. And I'm also going to create another issue um, that is about doing some of the, the instantiation via the GPTs uh, rather than just the API. So basically, I want the GPT to be able to use the API in order to, to uh, orchestrate all this stuff. Uh, I hope that makes sense. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, yeah, this is really exciting. And I think I'm finally getting the hang of how do you organize and orchestrate open source development. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do right after this, and by the time you see this video, is I'm going to organize the discussions a little bit better and organize the issues a little bit better. And yes, once once we have the uh, a lo- just a little bit more, I'd like to see some more poll requests either today or this weekend or next week. Um, so that we can get some of these demos up and running. And I think that as fast as you guys are moving, we've got the agent builder, we've got the tool maker, now we just need to integrate it. And then the last thing is figuring out communication because uh, folks definitely see and understand the, the hierarchy. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, et cetera, et cetera. Hop on over on Patreon, hop on over on Discord, uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. Also, I've got a free sub stack. All the links are in the description. Um, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for coming along for the ride. This is super exciting. And, um, yeah, I'm just super jazzed We're we're getting some, we're getting some real work done. Have a good one, everybody.